you wished upon a star. Now we want you to share with us our latest and greatest dream. Disneyland. Just go to Action Park, there's no other park like it. Six Flags Great Adventure. It's not a world away. Paramount's Kings Island. We will officially open Universal Studios Florida. Hello, I'm Michael Eisner. Now, here is your host. Welcome back to the Defunct Land Podcast. My name's Kevin Perger. Today, I am joined finally <laughs> um, by Jake from Bright Sun Films. Uh, Jake, how are you doing? Hello. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for being here again, because uh, and I might have it <laughs> somewhere deep, deep in the 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 recess of my computer, or deep in the the bowels of my device. Uh-huh. Uh, we we've recorded we recorded a podcast a while back. Yeah, about Disney Cruise Line. And this was mm-hmm. back when we were just kind of you know we we just started engaging online with one another, and so uh, the podcast itself actually flowed pretty well, and it was actually nice because we got to know each other. Uh, but the recording process yeah. was terrible. Yeah, really, uh, really not great. My settings on my end were were awful. I think I put my my Skype microphone settings to automatically adjust, which completely blew out my track. And I didn't notice yeah. until like 20 minutes after we started recording. And then mine were also the same. And I didn't notice until 40 minutes into recording. <laughs> and so we, I, bas- I had so the, my Skype recorder at the time and now I use another service. But um the skype recorder yeah this is much better i know right this is zencaster um in case anybody's wondering i use zencaster it's really nice um and uh it just pulls from your microphone so you're like uploading as you speak and then i'm uploading as i speak rather than skype which is just you know recording the the delays and the and the glitches and the lags so this doesn't even pick that up so sometimes that's fantastic so sometimes with this it's nice because like i'll hear you glitch but i'll know that the recording that i will download won't have that glitch in it right yeah but but back to the podcast we were recording. We had done the Skype recorder, and if you if you blew out the mic on the recorder, like if you maxed it out, it would stop recording. Really? And so we would do that every like three minutes. Remember, because I kept being what like, "What kind of setting is that?" I don't know. It's a bad one. I mean, it's Skype. <laughs> yeah, it's that's Skype. true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so today's sponsor is Microsoft uh, <laughs> Business Suite products. Um, no, but the uh, but yeah. So I'm happy to have you back. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, I'm sorry that I'm sick right now, which if you hear me coughing every once in a while, that's why. This will be one of those like podcasts like at the beginning of the end. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, the, the, like you could tell it's all you downhill t- from here. <laughs> you could tell he was sick in the in the defunct land podcast. And <laughs> <laughs> that'll be in your biography someday. Um, yeah, the uh, but yeah, so I'm happy to have you. Um, I find our conversations always fascinating to me because they always come back to like YouTube analytics and thumbnails and. So we're going to be talking all about YouTube uh, during this podcast and all about making documentaries on YouTube and somewhat of your process and maybe a little bit of my process. Um, I should preface this with saying we're probably going to get in, as we usually do when we have these conversations, to talking about, um, you know, problems we have on the platform, issues that we run into when running our businesses or making our videos. And I think it's important to say that we're probably going to sound like just ungrateful, um, which is not the case. I'm extremely grateful i cannot express it in words to the audience as i'm I'm sure you are as well to mm-hmm. yours um so these problems we realize are not like dire problems you know getting demonetized but you know having videos not do very well i mean whatever we talk about but the the just to preface this entire thing uh we are very grateful for audiences we do realize how lucky we are to be here and have them um so and we do not take that for granted so having said that uh let's talk all about analytics and thumbnails um just all that stuff that i'm very interested in and yeah, so you know it uh, as well as me <laughs> uh, no no i don't because you you've been able to do something miraculous the fact that you don't have more subscribers is amazing well, I, I think guess, the same or, can go for you well thank you and you're oh catching up to me i <laughs> know but that's either so so the fact that so it's either the fact that you don't have more subscribers is incredible or the fact that i have so many is <laughs> or you could flip it and say the fact that you have so many views is amazing or the fact that i have so few views is because if you look at our viewer to subscriber ratio it's crazy you you put up numbers like no one's business i mean you really like, yes look at, uh, i will go as we're speaking to brights and <laughs> films uh, to prove this point but you know i've had a, like four videos with over a million views how many have you had uh over a million probably around 
It's got to be over 10, probably around 12. I mean, is that it? Really? I feel like, okay, popular upload. I'll check. Nick Studios, 5 million. The Costa <laughs> Concordia, 3.4 million. Oh, yeah, that got popular. The too. Mick Barge, 3.3 million. Target yeah. Canada. Target freaking Canada. <laughs> Who cares about Target Canada? I Nobody. have no idea why that did so well. I <laughs> really don't. 2.6 million people. That is stupid. I mean, like, I mean, you do a great job with all your videos, whatever. I mean, I'm not here to praise you, but, like, that's <laughs> dumb that that Circuit City, 2.3 million views. Toys R Us, that makes sense, 2.1 million views. Yeah. The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien on your canceled series, like the one of, <laughs> one of two times you've done a TV show, mm-hmm. 2.1 million views. Pontiac Stadium, 2.1 million views. Demonetized. Wow. Dem- oh, really? Yeah, I, I don't make any money from the Target Canada video or the Pontiac Silverdome video. Which is a huge shame. That is a shame. Why? Uh, the song I used at the end of the Pontiac Silverdome, I purchased a licensing agreement from some guy on SoundCloud. And it turns out he didn't actually own the song. So I just purchased oh, wow. a $100 licensing agreement for nothing. So it was uh, wow. struck down anyway. Well, the, we'll see. The Pontiac is 11 minutes and the Target Canada is 13. So not one of your longer ones. So yeah. that's, I mean, the uh i guess some of your video most of these videos the like the concordia ones 18 minutes bankrupts are always what like 16 to 18 now yeah um, they're they're usually longer and so well i'm not done so you, you're not getting out of it you're not because uh rolling acres mall 1.9 yeah. million views what? almost 2 million that you have to be riding off of the back on that one just a little bit of of uh of, da- of dan bell's dead mall series it's right? gotta be it, i mean that's a popular for some reason that's a very popular mall even now that it's gone <laughs> people seem to very much i just got like sixty thousand views on that the other day for no reason i don't know who's watching that i don't know who's interested in that i don't know disney's discovery island makes sense 1.9 million yeah views. that one that's the original one walt disney world and hurricane irma 1.8 million views it's not <laughs> even you don't even do like that has nothing to do with your content <laughs> i'm really surprised about that one that was really weird Blockbuster oh, like video, 1.7 million. Uh, Carnival's Cruise Project, uh, 1.7 yeah. million. That's Pinnacle. a that's a cool video. I love I really Cruise. Like um, Randall Park Mall, 1.6 million. Again, Trash why? to Treasure. The uh, yeah, right. <laughs> why? So, yeah. uh, look, you got. I mean, the abandoned Walmart. Trash, 1.6 million. Like an abandoned mm-hmm. Walmart. Yeah, people really like abandoned retail. I mean, I so do I. Is. But that one especially was like, wow, that's bizarre i mean and some of these some of these you can pass off as like saying well disney's discovery island the original one oh that's has the original 1. one yeah, four million views um which that's yeah. the one where back in the day you used to like research like four facts and then just like kind of be like th- and uh, look at pictures that's the one where you can mistake in myself as using microsoft slideshow or something or powerpoint <laughs> for that video my is god is that how you did them like so no. I've, i watched you when you first came out like years really? ago yes is it like at the beginning i was there i'm tell sorry me how those tell me how those early videos how did those work well it all started with that video i did called if you look at my channel it's called something neat river country and that was like i was still doing gaming videos at the time and i had come across adam the woo's video on river country and i got very interested in that and the whole idea behind abandon was to Uh, collect a bunch of information around the internet that I found into one centralized place. So that was the idea for Abandon, and that's where it started at all. But I I started with a pirated version of Final Cut Pro, and it was like this really bad uh, pirated version of it. So there would be like green flashes throughout the video. It was just like an enormous mess of a video software. So I would do that with... um, with the first a few abandoned episodes and that was just a a mess with my narration and the visuals and everything it was a bunch of black screen it was just an awful presentation if all things considered so i uh i try to forget all my videos before 2000 or after 2015 wait no yeah, I, I try to forget all my videos uh pre-2019 Oh, um, come on. Your videos are... What are you talking about? All of your videos are very well made. Whoa. I wish I had your position where I was actually competent in making things throughout my entire channel. Okay, but the, the style took me a while. So I was always a competent 
video editor beforehand because I had like a non-pirated version of Final Cut Pro for years <laughs> beforehand. Do um, you still use Final Cut Pro? I do, and I've I'm fluent in Premiere um, Pro. I got and I that, and, yeah. and I have the Adobe Suite, but it's not good for YouTube because um, Premiere is really great for narrative films, and but uh, Final Cut the magnetic timeline and just the and I'm also a huge mouse guy. I love clicks um rather yeah. than typing i don't know if you've ever seen uh an editor who is good at typing and like at, who edits through like the key like the actual keyboard have you ever seen someone what do are that? they just using like uh keyboard shortcuts for the whole thing yeah for literally everything they rarely huh. touch the mouse it is fascinating it looks like they're typing like like a document really but, like the, the video is being edited yeah look at all these people in the industry and like that actually know what they're doing there's <laughs> like <laughs> yeah i know right like, <laughs> how do they do i'll never know I'll never know. Wow, people are actual professionals in this. I guess. I I thought we invented documentaries. Um, or you invented documentaries. Well, I made I... Final Cut Pro, so. <laughs> and then I pirated it. You know, <laughs> yeah, because exactly. they stole my company from me. <laughs> uh, uh, um, no, but the uh, but yeah, well, my original videos, uh, there are some very stylistic people that find the channel recently and then go back and look mm-hmm. at those videos are like what because they're very odd stylistically you got weird captions of me doing really dry comments and very bad narration (laughs) and uh voice mods or whatever you want to come at me for whatever Uh point being uh but but i love your old videos because they have this and i'm sure people feel this way about mine i'd hope but like they have this very kind of quality to them that i don't miss it like i i prefer the higher quality videos of yours but there's this we like whenever you would just show a picture and just like stutter your way through a reaction. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. There's something there's something about watching a I must have been 13 when I started making those videos. So there must really? have been a so, oh yeah, I was in I was finishing grade 8 when I started the channel. This was in that was uh, early 2012. I was a young, I was a young kid. I didn't I've even realize how I didn't even realize how young, how young you were. Oh, oh yeah, I've watched myself grow up since grade eight. <laughs> it's bizarre. I've gone I'm through so entire agreeing. high school. It's so weird. That's that's, that's odd. Yeah, I mean the and the 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 series is great. I mean the way you put it together, and I'm sure you're not the first to do it, but you were the first to be successful and good at it. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> people. Uh, people always made videos back then like uh, they would put themselves in front of a camera. Like I remember the the only River Country video that I remember watching that actually had the information on it was this guy who was, I don't think he makes videos anymore, but it was just like this older gentleman, Southern man. He was sitting in front of a camera and basically just reading off Wikipedia or something, just talking about River Country. And that was fine and dandy because that's where I learned everything from River Country. But I always figured that there must be some sort of way to actually present the information and uh, to eventually what are where I am now in like a documentary style. And the same thing of what you're doing, too, is presenting the information in an interesting and, you know, uh, viewer intentive way. But back then there was I don't there was not really anything like that, not anything that really presented the information like I thought it should be, you know. Yeah, the. uh and and that's where you, what you did was so incredible with, I mean, just the, it's not just abandoned clickbait. Like mm. there's a delivery on that. And that's kind of the first time I ever saw on YouTube that like, Oh, there's a hope for this platform. Yeah. Like, that's the one thing that I'm just so proud about with <laughs> you, you and I, you and I both. And a, a lot of people in the, this community as well. We, the views are there. We don't have to clickbait. It's like a, a mm. proof of concept that we don't have to be horrible YouTubers in order to get views. It's so wonderful. And you know, well, we've done some tricks that have helped. Like uh, naming the series Abandoned is because that's a buzzword that people want to click on. That's true. Yeah. But it fits in with the branding. So that's fine. But but I mean, who like that that happens everywhere in the media industry i mean like i didn't know i was pregnant that's a clickbait tv show um (laughs) like you know stuff like that so i mean the the way that you you branded and then you know i've always i think from the i think i mentioned on a podcast maybe even year over a year ago now that uh you know you were my main inspiration you proved that this documentary format could work and that uh, is so cool yeah and i think you actually commented or 
on the video. And so that was like, that was a huge. Yes, I do remember that. I remember <laughs> doing that. I, it was a huge moment because I, I saw that. I was like, oh. <gasps> Jay coming on the video, and now now we're like <laughs> friends, and I can just text you like, "Can you yeah. believe this crap?" <laughs> like, just we got I got demonetized for this, but the um I've actually never been demonetized. Knock on wood. Neither. Well, actually, you know what? I have been. You once. just told me twice. Okay. Well, those were those were struck down. I mean, like um the well, have you ever been demonetized in the uh what, what do you call that? The yellow oh, dollar yeah, sign. For sure. Oh, All really? The time. Well, really? I, I, it, well, for the, it doesn't happen anymore, but there was that string. So, like, I think the last time it's happened was Bear in the Big Blue House. And I think the first time it happened was Beetlejuice. So from about October to the Come summer, on. it happened like every one because the, but it would be it was interesting because I think Bear in the Big Blue House was because defunct TV is a weird word and the system didn't know what it was yet. And that's my theory, because um, defunct TV, like you can say it and it sounds whatever, but like. The actual word is D E E F U N C T T T V. Like it's it was like, oh no, it's a Ooh. hacker um, huh. to the system. And then like Beetlejuice, I'm sure like anything with like horror or that kind of thing got to. Me. But then again, I don't know. I have no idea. Huh. Have you not? Have you only had it once? I've had it only once. I never on my narration videos. Surprisingly, I've only had it once on a video I made back in 2015, and it was on an abandoned nudist camp. <laughs> so you can see why, but. Uh, yeah. I understand why their decision on that. The, 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 the interesting thing about demonetization um, for, I mean, we're going to touch on all the subjects and well, I'm not done listening. You're over a million view videos, um, oh, but the, uh, <laughs> well, you, you, you claim there's like 12 and you're so wrong. Um, <laughs> but the, uh, but the interesting thing about the, the yellow, when it was doing those yellow circles for a little, it was the mm-hmm. most terrifying hour by hour of, of my life. Oh um, my god, I can't even have... it's Ugh. every video because you know you get the most views on the video in the first, you know, 24 to 48 hours. Like, well, the first hour you put it up, you're going to get the highest view per hour. Right. Um and that's demonetized and it's still demonetized. And it's not like they're going to compensate you for their mistake. So like every moment that it has that yellow circle, you're losing out on x amount of money. Yeah. And it's yeah, terrifying. Exactly. Um and another thing that would happen would be so this is this was the biggest. So for defunct TV, it was yellow because uh, I, I actually was ahead back then and I had like videos logged up. And so it was yellow and then I waited and I got it green and then. Right. I that's changed, the way to do it. Right. But here's the thing. I changed the thumbnail because I didn't like the look of it. And that thumbnail change triggered it to go back into review. Really? Yeah. Oh, Isn't that my. crazy. That is ridiculous. And so that was another terrifying thing. I remember that, that was around when uh, everyone was going through the apocalypse, right? That was around April of what, 2016, 2017? It would have been if it was last year, the Bear in the Big Blue House was July. So it was it was after that. But the ad, oh, I, there's huh. been there's been a few adpocalypses. Which one? <laughs> the adpocalypse? Uh, I guess so. Oh, 17. Like we're like we're war heroes, like. war veterans of <laughs> we're war veterans. Yeah, the I was great there. apocalypse. I was there. I got two strikes and got them both revoked. <laughs> no, the um, but the 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 anyway, the end of that story is I put up my Nick Hotel video. Um, right. Who would have known that would have done well? Just kidding. Um, but the, uh, but the Nick <laughs> Hotel means in the title. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the Nick Hotel video, I had this really terrible thumbnail of the pool area that like, cause, and I was like, this is terrible. I want to get a great <laughs> thing of like the bucket tipping over and the, right. I mean, it's like, every, you've all seen it. Um, it's, it's been in your recommended for a year now. <laughs> the, uh, I feel like someone like, 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 um, Bon Jovi. It's like, you've, you've all heard living on a prayer. I don't need to explain it. Okay. <laughs> it's the, it's the great classic. Yeah. Right. Um, and so, but I had to change it and I was terrified. I was like, I do not want it. This video is doing so well. I don't want to change it and get demonetized. But anyways, so, but yeah, um, but the YouTube is such an industry landscape. And I just, again, this is, if this whole podcast is just me thanking you for your work, um, then, uh, then podcast accomplished because I mean, I really, uh, so when you started, um, back to, to your kind of humble beginnings, uh-huh. and I, uh, humble. <laughs> you, uh, you, you know, you, what, what did you think would happen? Did you think like this is something that's going to blow up or was it a total passion thing for you? Oh, no way. No way. I, uh, I had always done, and I went through pretty much all of, I think 
I went to grade 10. So I, I was around four or three years into the channel without making any money. I, I made it very clear that I didn't want to monetize anything. So I was making everything for free. Um, well into the abandoned series, I think I started monetizing. Things. You're still doing that, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's free. Yes. Hero. Hero. <laughs> I, uh, I think I went to like abandoned Alcatraz, which is an awful video, but I think I went to that where I actually turned on the monetization, but everything before that, it was, I, when I first started the channel, I was watching gaming people and I was like, Oh yeah, I'm going to be the next big thing. And then I actually upload videos. Like I'm sure everyone does who has these dreams and are like, wow, I'm not that awesome. So it's uh, it, it was a culture shock for me and a wake up call that I'm not special and I'm not unique at all. And I don't do anything well. <laughs> so I had to slowly teach myself how to edit and how to make things interesting and, and how to grab people's attention without with being morally sound. That's a big thing for me where I'm like, I can only do something if I think it's going to be, I, I don't know. I have very enormous morals in how I operate things. I can't like I, I had to turn, I turn down sponsorships all the time because I'm like, I don't want to talk about clash of dawn or whatever. I don't know. I don't, care to talk about those things it's well if a that's a sign of good me. character i have also turned down clash of dawn that's good that's good <laughs> never nobody wants to play clash of dawn no i uh but the, is that what you do too because i i've always i've always been curious on how you go about sponsorships i i'm the type of person who i only accept big companies and people that i actually uh will try out like audible i love audible and um uh, Nord VPN, which is a service I use all the time. Like, is that how you go about things too, where you actually uh, do the same with big advertisers? No, highest bidder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, no, I really, Audible, I love, like, I'm a huge Audible supporter. I yeah. was very happy when they decided to sponsor me. I also use Nord VPN. Coincidentally, and the worst thing about it is I never use coupon codes, which is stupid because I, like, bought, like, a year thing. And then I was like, don't a bunch <laughs> of YouTubers, like, have coupon codes for this? Um, yeah, you could have just used code BSF. <laughs> code BS. Wait, what, what was that code? Can can we can uh, we get that on the screen? <laughs> be NordVPN.com slash uh, BSF. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I I mean sponsorships are interesting. Um, I only do them on Defunct TV episodes unless I'm making them as a joke. Um, like I did for the Dan one. Um, because <laughs> Defunct Land is like the, the sacred ground, I guess, of Defunct Land, and then Defunct TV is kind of just like I always describe it, and people are probably tired of hearing me say it, but it's. Uh, nostalgia, uh, chicken soup for the nostalgic soul. Um, yeah. So it's just you know it's just nostalgia that you can just be spoon fed. So if there's an audible bumper at the beginning, you won't care. But yeah, I mean, I, I how many sponsorships do you get a month? A month? I I have some pretty big contract, like long term contracts with a few. I think I have. I signed a a deal with NordVPN to do eight different ads over the course of, I think six months or something oh like my that gosh. So how do i that... get that deal man i listen i gave you the contact for my agent and okay. i said he listen he, he reached Kevin. out i'm gonna email him while we're talking because i'm gonna forget <laughs> dear mr jake's contact i'm so sorry for, for please out. accept me i'll please. take all the nord vpn <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll do all the Nords. Give me the audibles. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, the contracts like that are different because I thought this was just another person that would, you know, kind of. I I don't know. Okay. No, I mean, I have a I have a perfect relationship with my guy, and he always. He, I only go through sponsorships with him. I rarely ever do it outside of their um, system. So my it's perfect. Listen, listen, Kevin. I'm <laughs> telling you. I need to email this guy. I'll hook you up. <laughs> People are going to be like, why does Kevin have so many sponsorships all of a sudden? Like, there's going to be multiple video. It's going to be like, this video is sponsored by both Audible and Squarespace. And this. You'll and just give them a link to refer back. Just refer back to this podcast. You'll yeah. understand why. And it's like, that was the moment that Kevin uh, sold out, um, <laughs> which, which will be incredible because I'm going to also, I do the thing. Oh, I, I have so many ideas now. I could do that thing where, you know, like, where like you watch and judge Judy and it's like, uh, closed captioning provided by like I'll do like the whole thing like exactly <laughs> like narration sponsored by like every single aspect will be sponsored um anyways <laughs> well we got to get back to 
talking about how wrong you were with how many of your videos. Uh, so, Abandon Block with <laughs> Canceled. It's Carnival, not that many. Randall Park Mall, Band of Walmart, D- Discovery Island Original, Disney's America, 1.4 mil, which yeah. is upsetting because my Disney's America video is way better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, you're absolutely correct. And hey, you're in it, so you're allowed to claim it as like, it's like when uh, John Stewart won, uh, lost his Emmy uh to the day to colbert but he was an executive producer yeah. of colbert's show it's you know you were you were within that episode so it's the moral win and and can uh, yeah you, it's can like you give uh, us a quick novelist it's like when Re- uh oh yeah what, are, what did i say <laughs> you, it was like novelist no no it was novelist it was like whist. novelist <laughs> is that what it was i forget what the lines were i did i do too i, I forget who i who i was playing i forgot where, where i went to like how i woke up this morning i don't remember anything <laughs> You know what, though? Now that you say that, it reminds me of when Red and Link made a podcast talking about your channel, and they mentioned you, and then someone said, oh, Jake, they mentioned you, too. I was like, oh, that's that's awesome. And then I texted you saying, hey, did they mention me? Because I haven't been able to hear it. And then the person that messaged me on, on Twitter, she's like, oh, you know what? I actually just listened to it again. They didn't mention you, but they mentioned Dan. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess I'm an executive <laughs> producer of that show. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny because you messaged me you're like hey did red and link mention me and i'm like <laughs> over here like counting my money i'm like i don't know they mentioned me <laughs> like that's the image of myself that wasn't actually yeah, happening. exactly but i mean that, that was nice for them to red mention me but like dude, dude it was like a line i mean it's nice it's like Ooh, red and link mentioned me um but it, it, you know that was cool that was cool that they mentioned all of you yeah no it was and i th- feel like they mentioned you at some point but i mean it's also they were just like they definitely didn't mention. okay they definitely okay sorry <laughs> <laughs> they mentioned dan though dan bell so with another dirty room yeah, but they, they, they gave i'm a, they some gave way a, connected to it they gave another dirty room like some some time <laughs> yeah but they didn't really the way they listen Did i like you, red and link okay here we go we're going <laughs> this is the first time why do our conversations always diver, diverge into like us like talking about other <laughs> bashing <YouTubers>? other <laughs> everyone else. Well, we're not bashing it's just we have notes it notes to take listen <laughs> i like red and link they uh the way they were talking about dirty room though it's just very bizarre it's like i don't know it's almost as if they didn't watch <laughs> That's it, it for me <laughs> what's that yeah i know right <laughs> yeah. yeah it's uh it was that podcast was really interesting because they basically admitted that they don't watch other YouTubers, um, which is uh, actually an interesting thing. And they actually met touch on this too: is that other YouTubers don't watch other YouTubers, especially those in the same topic as them. Like I will rarely yeah. watch, you know, your videos. <laughs> um, no, but the uh, I, I have, thought you were a fan. Kevin. I am a fan, but it's it's odd now because. I, I don't know. I will say that I do like to, I watch the ones that interest me most and then I go back and watch the old ones. Um, so I, yeah. I haven't seen the I saw Pan Am, um, but I have not seen the most. That recent. was a while ago. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the most recent one I've seen. Thank you. I saw the Oceanos. Um, <laughs> OK, that was good. <laughs> that was recent. Right. And I uh, and I saw yes, Premiere, was... um, but I have not seen TWA oh, yet. Man. And, you know, I, we're, I brought you on this podcast to be after my episode on Eastern Airlines. Um, yes because i'm stealing your ideas um but the uh, <laughs> i'm just ready for all those comments i'm done but the uh <laughs> i know you're you're coming out of my territory now well yeah i mean you invented the airplane <laughs> as well as my own <laughs> pro <laughs> um, i made the first airline <laughs> my name is or yeah well no i'm not even gonna try or- <laughs> yeah go Wil- ahead and try and say that name. <laughs> wilbur wright orville wright wilbur wright there orville you go and wilbur um <laughs> wallace and gromit wright the inventors of the <laughs> airplane um and claymation and, and claymation uh yeah so the uh but yeah so i'm doing that episode and i i need to watch the other one i'm just i get a i get a I, i'm always scared to watch other people and i've had people kind of come at it both ways because if i see a subject so i did not watch disney's america the abandoned episode when researching why because you don't want to accidentally cross over on something intentional or uh, unintentionally it's just one something. of those things that after you hear a certain phrase you're naturally going to repeat it yes and, yeah and so i tend not to do that not because you have information that i don't especially because that my video was 35 minutes and yours was 12 but um, yeah you definitely got me on the time there but yeah but you made fox news so um great work <laughs> <laughs> it was the pat and something show it was I forget what it was called. 
I didn't want to watch Disney's America when I'm researching for Disney's America because what if you know you say a certain phrase, I say the exact one, and I don't know, is that kind of your process yeah. as well? Uh, I I usually the only time I'll ever watch a video on a topic is to make sure that I haven't left out. I I, I never even watch the video. I always go to the comments. Because I want to see yes. if people will people will say like you got this wrong, and I'll make sure to add that so I don't upset anyone. I totally did that on uh, on your on uh, the bankrupt on planes because I was like, okay, let's see. And I actually, well, you you consulted on the episode and helped me out in a few key areas. Mm -hmm. um, but I was, you know, I, I brought you on because I was like, I know that people that are interested in airlines, every little detail. Every little detail. If you got one thing wrong, that's all you'll hear. And I think that's interesting because airline, this podcast has no direction. It's fine. The, uh, <laughs> I think that's interesting. Yeah. What are you going to call this? Uh, <laughs> no idea. Something catchy. Um, <laughs> something clickbaity. Um, yeah, good idea. The, uh, the top five. The top five. Abandoned. I don't know. The top five abandoned tangents of this podcast the top five abandoned that's what Perfect. i'm gonna call it, the top five abandoned tangents of this podcast sponsored by nordvpn right 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 the interesting thing about something like an airline versus something like a disney so there, disney community there are some people that are very into it and very they have every detail of every ride and if you get it wrong they're gonna mm -hmm. match you but there's not that many really but there is a large part of that community that acts like they know everything but they don't there is not a large part of an airline community that pretends to know like yeah i know everything about pan am and they just like take pictures in front of like like airline billboards and, yeah you know what no. i mean there's no like there's no airline lifestyle community you know what i mean like you know how there's the disney lifestyle like we're, we're making we're making churros at home <laughs> And like there's no like yeah Listen. we're gonna try to make the fillets on eastern airlines at home <laughs> For an example, though, with that, uh, with the whole thing with that on the Pan Am video, which I think that it, what does that have a million views by now? Yeah, that, yeah, it does. That's next. Pretty well. well first, we got to go first to Disney's America, a million views, Legendary Years Resort, a million views, and then Bankrupt Pan Am, a million views. Yeah. 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 That video, <laughs> I made one mistake where I called a DC-3 instead of McDouglas. A Boeing, Boeing built it instead of McDouglas. That was my uncanny mistake, which I'm not kidding. In the comments, there must have been three or four hundred people <laughs> in the comments saying, oh, that's not actually made by Boeing. It's McDouglas. Wrong. Dislike. Yeah, I, I when you said three or four, I was like, that's not that bad. And then you said a hundred. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it was a lot. It was a lot of people. Well, that's why that kind of topic is, you know, you're going into it like you're you decided and I guess I decided to go into a, a, an entire different topic, which is airplane history, which is fascinating. Mm -hmm. And I love and I'm not going to do it again. I'm only doing this one <laughs> because it's is that it. Do you, are you calling quits after this? Oh, one? for sure. Unless I find something that <laughs> matches the channel. But it's because it was Disney's official airline. Right. And that got people to and from the resort. Um, but, but like, you know, you're you have the ability to like really go into that. And I kind of really enjoyed that aesthetic. I don't think I'd enjoy making it. I really like that like bankrupt aesthetic yeah. of like, you know, that like it's, it's kind of derelict derelict. Am I saying words? Derelict. 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 Yeah. Um, and just kind of like, you know, kind of sleazy almost, if that makes sense. Like the, yeah. that, that kind of, and I love that. Like how long did it take for you to come up on that kind of style that you've kind of like honed in on? I mean, the bankrupt stuff specifically, it, I always had the idea to branch out into companies in general because I'm always interested in the the economics and the finance side, uh, the aspect behind these companies. So it's it's always interesting for me to read uh, annual reports for companies. So it's you're looking at like Sears and Sears is a very morbid and horrifying uh, example of that. But you look at Sears's uh, annual you know, numbers and you, you just see that this depressing, you know, negative $400 million by the end of fiscal quarter number four is, it's just so depressing. And then you finally get to the end of the story, which we all know where that's going. And you see this enormous company with thousands of employees all just crumble. So it's, that's always been an interesting thing for me. And that's, that's where a bankrupt came from. It, it's kind of like a branching off of the same 
style is abandoned, but definitely has this more economical um, aspect to the the more technical side of companies. And that's why that's something that really has always interests me. That's where that uh, whole series came from. And the uh, and so you have, you know, bankrupt 1.1 for Pan Am mm-hmm. and maybe your most recent one will reach that. Ford is unbelievable abandoned. Beach Resort has a million, and then the la- the one that doesn't, but is almost there, beer. is uh, Giaga Lake or Giaga. I've never been able to pronounce that. Giaga Lake. Giaga. Giaga. <laughs> 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 Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. So do you want to get? So you what did you say? There's like ten or twelve. I think so. I think I said twelve. Yeah, there are twenty. You have twelve. Oh man. Yeah, you have twenty videos. With over a million wow. views, that's crazy. That's insane. It is insane. How do you not have? I honestly didn't know that. <laughs> um, that's but the, you have that many videos with over a million views, and you're you're reaching you know six hundred thousand subscribers, which is a lot of subscribers. Mm-hmm. Um, I, on the other hand, I'm I'm getting close to five hundred thousand subscribers, and I've only had four videos or five videos with over a million views. <laughs> the, well, I think that just goes to show. I mean, you have had a lot of press lately, and that's. A really, a really cool thing to see. Like I see you're in a bunch of these very prestigious uh, magazines, like and, Gizmodo. Um, yeah, Gizmodo, and you were in a, you were in another really big one too. I always see your retweets. I'm like, man, that's that is awesome. I'm very, very happy for your success. I really am. It's, it's very cool to see all of this happen. And then everyone's getting a bunch of subscribers. Isn't Disney Dan just crossed a hundred thousand just recently? And then um, same thing with Rob plays. I mean, it's really cool really cool to see all of this happen yeah i mean it's and you know you, you know pay dues you know you you were able to start this off and and you actually I, I respect you for taking this in the direction that taking your channel in the direction that i think a lot of people didn't expect because you know you you could have kept doing disney and just an abandoned disney stuff yeah. you were running out of abandoned disney stuff but you could have done defunct disney stuff like i did um but you didn't um you did like horizons and you are you like your argument with that was like it was abandoned for a couple of years um yeah but but you know you but you took you took like okay what are you gonna do I, I don't know what that i'm not gonna assume the thought process i have you here what was that thought process and like okay i have all these disney videos i have all these abandoned stuff was there ever like a moment where you decided i'm gonna go do abandoned and bankrupt and just this corporate stuff rather than you know right. disney and entertainment stuff well, I mean, for me, it's always there's always been a bunch of aspects of my uh, likings of things. I, I've always really liked Disney stuff, but I've never I don't th- does anyone ever consider and listen, you're the one to you're the one to tell me this because you're in the community. Does anyone actually think I'm a Disney YouTuber? No, I would not consider myself think a so. Disney YouTuber either. No. <laughs> wow. Put me in a box, Jake um the uh <laughs> no uh no i don't i i feel i feel versatile i feel young i feel spry i feel like i'm <laughs> i'm i'm all sorts of things i don't think i'm a disney youtuber i mean i i talk a lot about universal i mean i defunct tv has only done one disney defunct episode i mean the other four or the three the, and that's the four true will all they're non-disney uh mm-hmm. i think I think 50% over 50% of maybe 50 over 50% whatever of episodes uh at least 30% of episodes <laughs> have <laughs> have no mention of Disney in season 2 and then like over 50% are not Disney focused and Disney just shows up. Um right. I have no idea these are just numbers I'm throwing out there. I you know I'm pretty versatile. It's more of theme parks themed entertainment and themed experiences. Um mm-hmm. because I find that the most interesting the storytelling aspect of it. And you find reading annual reports interesting and that's the difference between us <laughs> yeah. because that sounds <laughs> Listen, really boring. <laughs> I like taking the boring aspects of things and then making them somewhat entertaining because other people like that too. Yes. But it's everything for me like Disney has always been something that's been very interesting. I love going there and everything but it's not necessarily something I want to focus on entirely. I like talking about Disney stuff and I find that interesting, but I also find airlines interesting. I also find, you know, cruise ships. And like you said too, it, a lot of themed entertainment, a lot of travel stuff, a lot of stuff in Florida. I always, I find fascinating with the uh, Florida stuff that's no longer there, but a lot of like amusement parks and um, places around the United States and uh, Canada, 
a lot of the things like McBarge was something that I really found interesting for a while there. And I think the view showed that other people did too. But for me, it's always something that I will never do an abandoned topic or a canceled or bankrupt or whatever on a topic that I don't necessarily find interesting for myself. So I think that's a, that's a good baseline uh, base ground to where I make videos. And I think that's always going to stay like that. I, I don't think I'm ever going to do a topic where I'm like, Ugh, I'm dreading to do research on this because it's just too much. If I'm sure, you know, doing research on things is just a, a stupidest task that takes forever to do. And if you're not a hundred percent committed to that topic, it's going to be a nightmare to, to do the research on. Uh, yeah, I have experienced that a lot this season <laughs> of defunct land of just me not being that, you know, excited about topics. And I, it always comes in the editing that I get excited, which is unfortunate because sometimes I have to go back and, yeah. and re-record voiceover because I'm like, wow, I sound really bored. Um, mm. But, you know, I, it, I, I really enjoy, you know, I, I have that same thing. I'm like, if it's not interesting, I'm not going to do it. But now it's more of, I find if it's not interesting, it's more of a challenge to me because, you know, my ego. But the uh, <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> I can make anything interesting. Let's do it. What's it called? <laughs> Wonderland Sydney? Well, what what if the entire episode was about a freaking crocodile? How about that? Um, like, <laughs> abandoned. <laughs> it's just so dumb um, that I just find it more <laughs> fascinating. Like, well, my like, oh, this is boring. Nothing's boring in, when it's in my voice to the computer. <laughs> um, and so I, I don't know. I I, I do. I told, that was my thing. But I think it's more of, you know, I have done some topics where I've written a lot about them, and I'm like, you know what? There's nothing here. I have to stop because sometimes. Yeah. despite our talents there's just not a story it's just something and and whenever it's not a story it always comes down to one thing for me it's that the people involved weren't interested or focused on it um yeah that's where i always find it because it's that is that if you know some sometimes the the people involved had other business ventures and then if there was no passion, if there's no thriving fan base for it anymore, then no one is involved. So it's just like, so let's use a, an amusement park, for example. Well, Wonderland Sydney is a good example. Wonderland Sydney was pretty much abandoned by this company, right, that, that came in, absorbed it, and then left it, let it go. Mm -hmm. um, but that has a thriving fan base and people that were passionate and there was people singing and crying on the last day. That's a story. There's characters involved, human beings involved. Um, but if, for instance, that didn't happen, and if it was just kind of ended, and someone was like, "I wonder whatever happened to Wonderland Sydney," then there's no one involved, and then like I don't have any characters for my story. I don't have any. I have nothing. It's just nothing. You know what I mean? Right. So that's where I come out of from. <sighs> yeah, that's a that's a good point. But also at the same time, it's like I make a video on a mall, and a million people watch. <laughs> right. It's like, <laughs> where are these people coming from? Well, that's another thing is that your videos that you know the way you built your audience perhaps is my speculation that they surprise you that's a good point yeah i'm never surprised it's ever i i think we've had the, we, we had this discussion on uh charity land we've had this discussion in person uh, over text i'm never surprised by a video nick nick hotel it just hit three million views i think <laughs> I'm not surprised. Not even That's awesome. not even surprised at all. Um, it's awesome. If it if it didn't do that well, I would be upset at myself. Do you know what I mean? What I mean? <laughs> like it's about the Nickelodeon Hotel. It, it is it is yeah. prime material. Everyone that watched Nickelodeon around that time remembers that. All the parents remember driving past it. Like you can still drive past it today. If if I didn't do the i mean if if you don't deliver on that you did something wrong and the same thing with a lot of things so like and the example i use is like when i did worlds of fun i was like this isn't gonna go well <laughs> and it didn't um, you know I'd, but world i've never heard of worlds of fun right it's in kansas city it's my it's my hometown amusement park when i was growing up oh right yeah and so i knew like this is not gonna this isn't gonna work and <laughs> hey guess what <laughs> it didn't do well um yeah. I, don't, I don't know, but you, like you do stuff like that. I would. Yeah, but your version of doing well is like two hundred and fifty thousand. Yours is like three. Mil wow, just body slam me. That'll be the <laughs> Jake. Jake flexes on Kevin. Wait, what, you, what does that mean? I'm <laughs> saying your your, <laughs> your aspect of not doing well is a bunch of views we, we anyway. I have this podcast talking about you twenty videos over a million, <laughs> and then you're like your your thing of doing well is like two fifty. What, what do you care? Listen, I think two fifty is good. <laughs> 
That's so dumb. You have so many <laughs> views. You have so many views. Like the, I'm just happy with anything, okay? Oh, yeah, sure. You, in a week, you got 319K on Bankrupt. Your Nickelodeon Studios 2019 update that, wow, you really, it really did a lot for that one, Jake. You got 260,000 <laughs> views. I mean, no offense, but I mean, you, you do these update videos and it's like this new footage. Okay, but I will say, and I, I'm going to forget to mention it. I'm going to be like, <laughs> I forgot to make that joke. Um, I love how you flex on me so hard. Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> your version Listen. your version of doing well is like, what, 200, 250,000? I have over 20 I'll tell you videos something. with over a million views. A couple months ago, I was getting really, really worried. I was in like a state of panic because a few videos of mine were not doing very well. It was during that uh, that the colony uh, area of my videos were like three videos did under a hundred thousand that was worrying me very much and then i was clicking over to your channel and here you are getting ten thousand subscribers a day with four hundred thousand views every day and i'm like okay well this is it for me it looks <laughs> like kevin has completely dominated the sector uh i'll just bury my grave right now okay well i guess that's that's fine but the the <laughs> but, but, you know, I would, but, you know, that was me for years and that I would come up with these, you know, the, these video topics that are like really good and, and, yeah. you know, they're, they're, they're clickable and they're interesting. They're not clickbait, but they're clickable. And then you would come out here and be like, uh, the something, some, let me find something dumb. It won't be hard. Um, the, <laughs> the, uh, the big part, no big barge. And you didn't even give enough of a crap to like Photoshop a, a mcdonald's logo or even say like mcdonald's abandoned you, you just it's like <laughs> abandoned mcbarge and picture of it abandoned your thumbnails take like 10 seconds the you know you like your terra nova episode got eight hundred and twenty four thousand views i see this you know how hey i like that episode <laughs> hey man i like that the uh, and i see this and i'm just so like oh man you know what i mean like i'm just like i can't believe I can't believe oh, that I worked this hard on this really interesting video topic and bright sun can, you know, and, that, but, but it wasn't like I was upset or I didn't make sense to me. It still doesn't make sense to me. So, but the, it's more of that. I, I wasn't <laughs> jealous. I was like, that's what I want. I want to be able to talk about whatever I want and get the views. And now that we're here at, you know, not equal points, but, you know, in a similar area, I now realize that you have no idea what you're doing either. And I don't know what I'm yeah, doing. I never have. I don't think that's ever been a secret. <laughs> I just do things that I that I like. To, I think I find interesting, and I hope other people do as well. Right. I mean that, and that's such a great mindset. And I do that to a certain extent, but I also like, you know, I I bump things up if I'm like, man, this this topic's too. Well, I'll bump Nickelodeon Hotel up. Oh, definitely me too. But I mean, uh, I don't think I think both of us it goes for. You're not going to do a topic unless you either uh, you gotta you gotta enjoy what you're talking about to some extent. There's no way you can make a video and just. Hey, man, I'm just happy to be here. I absolutely hate it. I'm just happy to be at this point. I'll talk about anything. What do you want me to talk about? Like, it doesn't matter. And that's the difference. Like, you know, you, if it sounds like it's, uh, from what you're telling me, it's, it's the, it's, you know, there are video topics that if you were to do them, it would be, it would be very mind numbing. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. I've had sponsorships where people will come to me. <laughs> I remember, I don't know if I should talk about yeah, this. Yeah, let's name not. some names. But let's there's a, a, a company. I don't even know the name. A company came to me that makes, I'm not kidding, and that makes the soft stuff. I forget. It, it's like a plasticky kind of wood chipping substance that you put under playgrounds. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Like kind of like the padded stuff you would put under a playground. Yeah, it's yeah, like no, the soft I, plastic. Like the, 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 the ripped up tires and stuff? Yeah. It, they came to me and they're like, Jake, we want you to make a documentary style video about our company because we have found a way to make this that's not toxic. So I was like, right. <laughs> so well. wait, so like they're in the lab and they're like, hey, wait a minute, this isn't gonna poison kids anymore. Get Jake on the <laughs> I guess phone. so. <laughs> kids can lick <laughs> this and they won't die. It's amazing. They'll have cancer in 20 years. Get Jake on the phone. So they're like, Jake, you need to make an abandoned video on that. Or you I don't even know what they wanted me to make. Very odd, very different proposal. They offered a lot of money to me, but I was like, I can't do this, guys. There's no way. I just can't do it. So, like, it was so, it was a good amount of money. It was like a lot. It was a lot of money. How much money? I think they offered 
I'm not kidding, like 15,000. Oh my God. American. So for a Canadian like me, that's that's a lot of money. Oh my gosh. But at the same time, my audience would hate me if I ever even released a, uh, a preview for this video. <laughs> Jake, what are you doing? <laughs> Which is great because it, I love acting. You know, there are some YouTubers out there and it, it boggles my mind that tr- like they have millions of subscribers and they have millions of tens of millions of views um, mm-hmm. and they act like they are just your average Joe because it's their brand. And they're just kind of like, oh, yeah, right. you know, it's just that's like their brand. Yeah, it's just me and my my house. I only have a few rooms in this house that I own just to shoot <laughs> videos in. And, you know, I made it messy a few minutes ago. So you could tell that I'm that I'm kind of relatable. Like I, I don't totally the really down to earth, really down to earth. And I'm not even talking about those that you would think like the really like painful children's YouTube videos. I'm talking about like people like I'm not going to name names, but just people that like just do this. And you don't have no idea how much money they're making because their videos oh my, don't get demonetized. I can't even imagine. And ours do. Um, and that's why it's so fun to act the opposite like us is because we are not millionaires. And we're our my production costs on some episodes costs. I mean, that's why I keep my Patreon open is like, you know, my production. I, I spend so much on production. Um, yeah. And some of these. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a place now where I'm starting to hire people. And that's. Yeah. Just looking at the whole margins of that, I was like, oh, right. I know. And and you okay. don't want to you want to pay them well, but you're also like want them to realize that, like, even though, you know, that how much work it takes on our end to do it, per, do each episode and how, how much. Right. Work- because I still do everything by myself. And I uh, you've been smart to actually take on other people. And I'm <laughs> I need to get there. I think you're proof, though, that it works. So maybe I should. uh We'll do another podcast in a, in a few months where you're like, this was terrible advice. <laughs> <laughs> see, see the fallout of my other. I got disaster. all these interns up my. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll complain about work conditions. Um, yeah. no, the, uh, but, you know, like we back to just your channel. Um, like we I like we have a point to this to begin with. Um, <laughs> your your series uh, is still just so well produced and the fact that you do it alone is astounding um and i I appreciate and uh and so okay there's your compliment here's me making fun of you um you've decided (laughs) to keep in the phrase what's up guys it's too like it's people like it too much i know i I hate it well yeah the uh i don't i don't dislike it (laughs) i i think what's up guys is a is a cat are you sure no i don't dislike it i i'm especially for what i'm about to say um because okay. what's up guys is is a is a kind of it's your thing it's a fun thing i don't really have a thing um other than uh, other than like my michael eisner thing and everybody needs a thing and so you have a few things and, you have the michael eisner thing that's yeah good. um but I, I whenever i think of michael eisner i think of you now <laughs> whenever whenever you fall asleep and dream of michael eisner dream of me um <laughs> but the uh but like for instance i think the story of the oceanos you know, you I forget mm-hmm. how you, it's a cold open, right? So let me I'm going to actually open this video. So, so yeah, you have this cold open before you're uh, look at that. Uh, you're getting sponsored by one eight hundred flowers right now. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have this cold open where you show this uh, really high quality news footage <laughs> um, uh, and all these people. But it's a more subdued. What's up, guys? Right. That's the thing. What's up, guys? It's, it's like you have this tragedy. People I don't, do people die. I forget. Okay, no yeah, died. so everyone, anyways, but this is a tragedy. This is a, it's a happy, it's tragedy. A scary situation, right? So yes. that what's up, guys, has to be like, what's up, guys? This is the story of the Oceanos. <laughs> <laughs> and then on, on the Disney video, I'm trying to keep the aesthetic. <laughs> I, it's, it's harsh. Been, it's hard. I, I okay? can't wait till you do one on like some, uh, some disaster, where, like hundreds of people have died, and you have to be like, uh, what's up, guys? Um, this is up, you know, just pulling your collar, like, what's up, guys? <laughs> yeah. I, I i hope you write a book someday and i tried to convince you to write a book with me a while back and i think you thought it was going to be more work i should have done, done it. it dude i didn't have the time though you think you don't and then you do we should still write a book dude i we think should we should write a book this is let's, let's write a book. book this is the start of our book um <laughs> <laughs> it starts with i think I, yeah i think you um so you know i i approached you i was like dude we both love disney cruise line there's not a lot of great disney cruise line books mm-hmm. let's write a disney i mean there's like the unofficial guides and stuff let's write a disney cruise line book 
and we didn't know each other that well at the time. That's a good idea. It was a great idea. Um, but you know, we didn't know each other that well at the time. So it was like me coming mm-hmm. to you like 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 out of breath. Like I just ran to you. I'm like, hey, hey, Jake. Uh, it's it's me, Kevin. Um, can I can we uh, we should do a book? And like you were like, I don't think I have time for that. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll go do one. And <laughs> and uh, whatever, it's really cool. Cool, man. I love your videos. And then uh and so I go and write a book. Now that I have the system set up, it's really easy. But man, that process was not mm-hmm. easy to figure out. What do you do with all yeah. of your time? Because I do a bunch with my time. What do you do like in your in your like free time? Like in my free time, I wrote the book. Like, what do you do? You have free time? Do you just take a while to edit? Like, what, I mean, you you. I give my are Canadian minutes different. Like, is it is it like a, you have less time? Yeah, we're actually uh, <laughs> ten seconds slower than your American minutes. No, we. Uh, I, I mean, I. Well, now it sucks because it's cold, so I can't do anything. But uh, I give myself three days a week of break. Well, I, three days after I complete a video. Okay. So I've been working on the new one for a while. And then I'm like, OK, Jake, you can take a, a three day break. And I've been sick for a little bit, too. So I don't know if you can tell. But um, that's been my kind of thing for the past couple of days. And then I, I try and get every video done so I can go to Florida um, and actually do things there and enjoy myself for six days, which will be nice at the end of February. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it's I don't. I, I always need to work. There's always there's a part of me that's like, if I'm not doing anything, I feel like I'm wasting time or I'm I'm not being productive or I, I, it's a horrible mindset for me. And it, I, it's very toxic, I think, in my life. But it's always it's always for me. I need to to need to keep doing something or need to find a a, a way to keep productive or something like that. Oh, man, I, I'm not I'm not editing a, a video. I'm not writing a, a new thing on Rolling Acres Mall right now. It's it's like a constant fear for me. It's it's a terrible thing. I leave I, I live my life in a horrible. Oh, way. Well, I mean, th- <laughs> I'm this not was a great... supposed to be kind of a joke question, but um, this has taken a turn. Um, <laughs> it's gotten very existential. So like, I wrote a book. What did you do? And you're just like, I mean, I just I just can't stop, and I, I have to force myself yeah, to. T- I can't stop. T- t- <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I, how long does it take you to produce an episode? Like you know, I, tw- a twenty <laughs> a minute episode. How long did it take you? produce like t- how long does it oh man a 20, how long did it take you to write 20 TWA? minute episode twa hang on i have my calendar here i keep on my production schedule so twa i started on january 16th and i finished the video a day before it came out on january 24th so eight days from beginning to end so you full time though, like every day, eight hours or more. Oh yeah, pretty much. I I'd say more. I I work. I usually give myself a little bit more time in the morning. I I have breakfast and I watch a few YouTube videos on my couch, and then I start at around I don't know eleven a.m. I don't finish, and I'm not trying to make my sound like some make myself sound like a, a hardworking person because I people do incredible jobs i've my parents worked in a factory for the longest time and i have so much respect for them so i'm definitely not the person to be like oh my life sucks but i probably end my days at around 1 a.m or something around that i i like working at night too which is another toxic thing i'm a very toxic person well, Kevin. Well, well, it's not i would great, say you have a but, toxic work schedule i want to say i don't think labeling yourself as a toxic person. I find toxic work schedule <laughs> well yeah but it's uh it's not great not good stuff I need to I need to hire someone. Also, why am I not a recommendation on your channel? I, I'm I'm seeing now that I'm a related channel. So YouTube has recommended me, but I have not, you have not. Why is that? Wait, what? You have recommendations. You recommended yourself. Nice. You recommended <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the Brights and Films podcast. Makes sense. This is Dan Bell. Um, that makes sense. Uh, Uncharted Travel. And you and I then cut off related channels. Defunct land. So it's like I'm not associated with. That's kind of that's kind of rude. All right, Kevin. I'm gonna add you right now. That was the point of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the whole point of the podcast. That's the whole that's the whole thing right there, everybody. You just that's the end. I'm gonna I just got added. It's over. Well, um, this has been a very fun, uh, relaxing discussion. I hope you've had the same experience. Uh, yes, it was. <laughs> Thank you for adding me. You're not on mine, so I better go do that. Um, yeah. I've, I've, <laughs> you're just like, what?
yeah you're not on mine um i have no featured channels i have the option and i just have nothing like i don't not even disney dan your best your bestest disney friend my bestest disney friend um he's my friend and he's your friend um (laughs) no um let me see i'll Ooh, channel tips ready to get business savvy i am i'm ready how do oh i find out God. i, I really want to know like are this... you ready to land a brand deal are you well here's what you need to do first for well actually i don't even know how how do youtubers that are starting out as i'm changing this to end the podcast how do youtubers <laughs> that are starting out even do it nowadays what like a brand deal no like anything how do they even get started now oh uh, they don't it's, i don't think anyone who starts in this day and age of the YouTube landscape can, unless they clickbait or I don't know, it's, it's very interesting because it's like, what if I started abandoned today instead of 2012, instead of almost uh, six years ago, like nowadays, like to start something like that, you have to go to Reddit or you have to go to an external party. Cause I think YouTube is just like, like we might, we might be on the coattails at the end of YouTube. That's where it goes back to how lucky we are to have the fan base we do. And I mean, we, we're just very lucky. So I think we've taken this podcast full circle. We've, we started humble, then went deep into our egos and then came right back out. I, I can't imagine anyone starting now and getting a substantial traction with viewers. It's just so difficult. With with YouTube recommendations alone, I think they can they can they can do it if they're using Reddit and self promoting, which you're not supposed to do, which is which is a hard thing in and of itself. Right, that's very frowned upon. Yeah, so it's it's interesting. It's it's difficult. Do you think so? Last question of the day, as I now have you on my feature channels and I'm refreshing your pages, uh, and and you as well for mine. Heck yes, <laughs> thank gosh. What? <laughs> This is the this is another podcast of me being petty. That's so many of my podcasts. Um, the uh, do you think YouTube? If you had to put a expiration date on YouTube, what is it? it it's so hard to say. I get so worried. I always <laughs> I, I'm an ang- I'm an anxious mess. I have a lot of issues with myself. I'm always thinking like, oh man, this this is the end. I'm gonna lose my career. It's all gonna come down. I have an apartment. I have a car. It's just like, I'm always terrified that this is the end for everything. And I'm like, oh, man. And that's why I was like when the adpocalypse happened in 2016. And that's when everyone thought that it was all done. Or 2017, I don't know what it was. Um, But everyone thought, everyone was saying in the community, like, oh, this is the end of YouTube. This is the end of, you know, our careers as we know it on this platform. We're going to have to reach out and do different things. And it's going to be difficult to make money. And to some extent, that's true. But it was never really the end. So it, it's, I don't know, everyone freaks out when some little thing happens with YouTube. And to be, and to give them credit, I mean, they've been doing all right things. They've been, you know, making new features. Have you tried the new Premiere feature? Does that work for you? No, it doesn't work anymore. It yeah, I didn't think a, so. It worked for about a week. And then, so like I was talking to some people about this. Mm-hmm. It, works for, it worked for the week that they released it and then it started like hurting your chances. Yeah, I didn't think, like when I first tried it, a, I didn't like it. I, I, it was a cool idea, and I was really excited for it. But then I tried it, and it was like, I think this is really affecting how what my search results are going to be, and the recommended, and how it's going to be, uh, how it's going to be presented to people. Like it's not coming out right at the time I wanted to. It, it, it just never worked for me. Anyway, um, the to your question, I very difficult to gauge when YouTube is going to turn into a thing where it's just not. Uh, feasible for many people but i think for you and i what's your uh, let me ask you this what's your genuine goal for all of it is it to be a producer to to create content for a different platform like is it something where you want to bridge to netflix or uh, or another wow, large streaming company question. wow um this interview has turned around on you yeah wow this is tables have turned again um <laughs> no my my goal i want to be a showrunner that's the, that's the goal Right. Well, I mean, the the best case scenario for me would be to get some sort of producing role on a show that I've created or we've created. I would love the one thing I've always wanted to do is make a traveling documentary series or some sort of uh, various in various degrees of of that kind of idea around the thing. I've always wanted to make feature length documentaries as well on you know certain things that I've uh, wanted to do. Like I, I've had plenty of ideas now, but it's like. Oh, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough resources. You know, I, I need certain access to these things. And 
we were backed by a company like Amazon or Netflix or some other enormous company, that would be that make things a lot easier. So that would be like that's the ultimate dream, right? Well, let's do it. We're gonna hang up this podcast. And we're going to we're going to get on. This is going to be the we should get some hopeful music playing. Yep, right there. Do you hear that? They got that hopeful music to play Uh, us out. Um, And we're going to go get denied by (laughs) by (laughs) by many many companies in the industry, but many executives. uh, But regardless, uh, Jake, thank you so much for coming on today. Uh, Thank you for having me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, And thank you, everyone who's listening for listening to this wonderful just kind of uh, mesh of YouTube ideas. uh, I want to thank NordVPN for yeah, sponsoring this Right, video. please. Yeah, no, go to NordVPN. Go watch one of Jake's many million or more videos. So, uh, oh my God. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. And thank you for visiting Defunct Land. Mm-hmm.